So we are getting close and yes, it's almost been three months, almost to the day that I decided to do this or the day that I last went flying in 221 for Yankee, but we are almost here. And looking back on it now, I really didn't realize how big of a project this was until now, until it's almost over. So right now I am 95% of the way there. And after this, I'll make a series of programs guiding you through the process of getting your engine overhauled and doing major upgrades and getting a new interior so everybody can know what to expect and, and hopefully avoid some of the mistakes I made. But all in all, it really went well. I didn't make any catastrophic mistakes and all things considering, it really went smoothly. One thing that is cool as I'm watching this footage is I realized I have documented almost a complete rebuild of this airplane. And when you look at 2214 Yankee from the time I bought it until now, it really is a completely different airplane. The only thing that it has is the same paint job. And I will say this, 2214 Yankee is going to be a really nice airplane now. I have a new interior that's ready to go in boxes sitting in my living room and I decided not to install that until the plane goes into annual in October, just for the sole reason is I don't want it to be down for another month. And that's what it's gonna take me to put in the new interior and I wanna plan for that. Maybe it'll be a little sooner. Um, and I'll have plenty of programs on that, but I'd really, I'm really anxious to get the plane in the air and for me to get back in the air because I, I've been flying very minimally in the last three months. So the other big upgrade outside of the engine was the JPI 900 engine monitor. And this is, uh, th I'm just thrilled about getting this. I think it was a very smart decision to get and I strongly encourage anyone who's gonna put a, uh, an overhauled or a new engine in their airplane to get one of these so you can completely stay on top of the engine. Once you spend this kind of money, almost $30,000 on a new airplane, you can spend another $5,000 on an instrument just to make sure you're completely and completely on top of it. The JPI 900 is something that requires a lot of programming to install inside the aircraft. There's, so there's a lot more to just installing it. Um, for one thing, the fuel system needs to be completely calibrated. So you have to completely drain your tanks and add fuel by five gallon increments and start calibrating the fuel tank sensors from there. And it does take a while. Also, you'll have to make sure your fuel tank senders are in good shape. So luckily mine were. If not, you have to replace them and that's gonna take more time and money, but it's really worth it because you wanna know how much fuel you have in your tanks. And another thing is I have a completely overhaul prop now with the fresh fingerprints to prove it. Uh, this wasn't that expensive. It was only around $1,500 to uh, get that in. And um, this will be, this obviously will make a huge difference. Um, but the old prop had close to, I think it was close to 10,000 hours on it, which was way past overhaul. So from here, the process is an initial startup run and mag check to check for any leaks. And this should be as brief as possible. And also to make sure all the sensors in the JPI are functioning. So you have gone through this journey with me and I will ask you one question. Are you ready? Well, let's do this. And the good thing is everything worked and I was really thrilled. In fact, I probably watched the little iPhone video I made of the engine monitor running about a thousand times. And it was just really cool to see all the information on it right there. So next is the initial engine break-in test flight, which should happen on Monday afternoon. Um, and I will have more videos on that. Plus I'm gonna produce a whole series of videos on this entire process just to guide everyone through it. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Please reach out if you have any questions. Um, and 
I am really looking forward to getting 2214 Yankee back in the air. See you soon. Thanks for watching.